What we've built is the world's first multi-decade animated time-lapse of the Earth. Working with our partners, U.S. Geological Survey and NASA, we've brought online millions of satellite images starting from 1984 to 2012. It's trillions of pixels of satellite imagery data that have never been available to the public before, and we've stitched that together into this seamless animation of the planet changing over time. Landsat is a series of eight satellites that have been orbiting the Earth since 1972 at an altitude of about 438 miles. Now from that altitude they make one revolution of the Earth every 84 minutes. So in four decades they've taken a whole lot of pictures. It was initially conceived in the mid-60s by uh, visionaries that included Secretary of Interior Stuart Udall and the director of the U.S. Geological Survey, William Pecora, at that time. They were inspired to some degree by the, um, the Earth rise from the Apollo missions where the people had a greater awareness of the fragility of our planet and it was a time when the environmental movement got started. We developed software running on our Google Earth Engine analysis platform that sifted through those trillions of pixels over every year of data and pulled out the best pixels. For example, no clouds, no haze, right? So that we could stitch together this seamless, beautiful mosaic of the planet every year. People can now see, for the first time, more than a quarter of a century of change. We see urban areas uh, expanding in, in most parts of the world. Most cities are growing as not only as our population grows, but also as a greater proportion of our population moves into urban areas. When you see the disappearing Amazon rainforest, it's pretty shocking. It's pretty shocking. One area of rainforest in particular that used to be about the size of Kansas has now lost a third of its acreage in just the last 30 years. That's a lot of trees going down very fast. We see uh, glaciers retreating uh, across the surface of the world due to the impacts of climate change and other factors. You can see innovative, actually, water projects happening in the middle of the desert in the Middle East where they've created verdant agricultural fields out of nothing. You can see artificial cities being built off out into the ocean. When you look at Las Vegas, the sprawl that came as a result partly of the housing boom has been remarkable except that Lake Mead, which keeps the whole area hydrated, has been shrinking in direct proportion to the growth of the city. Since Landsat 1 has been launched, there's always been one Landsat satellite, at least one Landsat satellite, in operation, providing us with a view of the global land surface. NASA just launched the next Landsat satellite, Landsat 8. Um, and, and yet, Congress is now considering whether to continue the Landsat Earth Observing Mission past Landsat 8. That would be a terrible mistake. If we can't see how we're changing and sometimes damaging our Earth, we certainly can't keep ourselves accountable for it. Everyone will have access to this data, whether it's a citizen or a student, a university professor, a government official, a nonprofit. Everyone will have this same picture of our changing planet um, and the things that are happening on it that are really undeniable.